Welcome to day 17 of our 40 days of following Jesus. Yesterday I mentioned one of the two responses that the disciples must have been having when they walked with Jesus, and that was an amazing sense of freedom, that Jesus was showing them an amazing freedom that he had to walk amongst them and to show them a reinterpretation of what the law of God was going to mean to their lives. And it meant life, it meant celebration, it meant doing good. Well, today I want to talk about the second thing that must have been dawning on them, and that is that they were feeling increasingly the opposition. They felt the criticism and the questioning of the Pharisees. They recognized that there was jealousy about the ministry of Jesus. They recognized many people did not understand why Jesus had come and what he was here to do. And they must have recognized that while we associate ourselves with Jesus, we are going to face opposition. And of course, he says that in the Gospel of John. He says, they hated me. They're going to hate you. And uh, one of the things that we're kind of aware of right now because of what's happening in the Middle East as uh, Israel and Hamas are at war, we're thinking more and more about where is this going? And we're seeing more and more opposition in our own culture. Here's what it says in Matthew 24 about that, starting in verse 9. Then they will deliver you up to tribulation and put you to death, and you'll be hated by all nations for my name's sake. And then many will fall away and betray one another and hate one another, and many false prophets will arise and lead many astray. And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. But the one who endures to the end will be saved, and this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all the nations, and then the end will come. Now, there's a lot in that passage we can't unpack, but I, what I just want you to recognize is that there will always be opposition, and you know that there is. Every, ide every ideology, every religion, every person really has some religion, even if it's just the religion of narcissism, that when you claim, when Jesus says, I am the only way to God, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except to me, except by me. When you claim that loyalty to him, you are setting yourself up against all the other religions. And they recognize that. And they hate the exclusivity of Jesus, even though he is the truth and the way. So I want to challenge you today. You know, the, the dark side of this is opposition and persecution. But the light side of this is loyalty. It's love. It's following. It's the simplicity of knowing I have a master and I just do what he tells me. And he's proven true in my life. He has saved me from my sin. He's shown me how to live. He has helped me in my marriage, in my work, with my children, with my money, with my, my physical health. He is involved in all aspects of my life. And how could I be anything but loyal? So even though there is persecution, even though there's pressure, and we don't even know the extent of what this might be in the coming days, the joy of this is all I have to do is say, Lord, I'm loyal to you. I trust you. I'm following you. I want to be with you. And when we do that, we also know that he was there long before us saying, my son, I'm with you. I'm walking with you today. So walk into this day with that confidence and face the opposition with joy that you're loyal to your master. God bless you.